Those opposing the lease for Gannon's project Neptune have been protesting across Erie for weeks in the cold, the wind, rain and snow. Tonight they held another rally, but it was unlike anything they've done yet. Matt Mathias was there and has much more. Matt. That's right, Sean. It's a change of scenery for library supporters. This serving as a way to keep spirits high, even when things might seem bleak for their side. The warmth of Erie's Manicore Club was a welcome change of pace for protesters who have been fighting Erie County in Gannon University's lease that would see some 3,000 square feet in the Blasco Public Library become a university water testing center. Just this week, the library moving their public computer lab upstairs and out of the agreed upon space on the ground floor. They keep saying it's unused space, but if you've seen they took the computers out, and if you went for a little tour, they're all areas that are used right now. Wednesday night, more than 100 supporters showed up to regroup, celebrate their activism, and continue planning the fight. They've sent letters to Gannon, Bishop Persico, Erie County Council members, and the county executive, and they say they're not slowing down anytime soon. Well, I think we had the idea to come together that, to show what a large unified group we are. We're not just three or four people standing on a street corner with a sign. We are a whole lot of motivated people who believe in the public library system and, and that it belongs to all of us. The group filed a right to know request, which they say reveals several emails depicting the situation as a behind closed doors deal. So that's what's really maddening. It was behind the scenes between Gannon and Bretton Davis. County Council didn't even know for a long time. Despite not knowing if the situation can be reversed at this time, they continue to make their voices heard. Well, we still don't know where we stand. We, we hope the council will show some, you know, resolve and say maybe we didn't do a good enough job looking at this. Now you can find Keep Our Library Public's online petition on our website, yourerie.com. Meanwhile, the county executive administration declined to comment. Sean. All right, Matt Mathias reporting tonight. Thank you, Matt.